there's going to be some new narrative that comes out of Riyadh. I think the administration is going to want this narrative to sound convincing because from the standpoint of this administration, the real main problem here has to do with the controversy stemming from the murder case, not the murder itself. But in any event, this is going to continue to be a huge problem for Pompeo, Trump, and the whole administration, because unless the Saudi state would admit that MBS played some sort of a role in this murder, it doesn't seem likely to me that lawmakers and many in the media here in the United States would accept this new narrative, and thus this very, very messy affair will continue to be a big problem for the U.S.-Saudi relationship. And how much power do you think Pompeo has over MBS? There's no doubt that MBS wants to have a very, very close relationship with the Trump administration to continue this close relationship that um, has defined ties between the White House and MBS and those in MBS's circle. But at the same time, we need to keep in mind that it, uh, the administration is very concerned about Riyadh moving even closer to Moscow or Beijing as a consequence of the U.S. leadership putting a lot of pressure on the kingdom due to uh, this murder case. So I think uh, there's certainly quite a bit of influence that Pompeo has over MBS, but I don't believe he's going to use too much of it um, when it comes to getting answers on this case. I think he wants to make it seem as though he's doing something to hold the Saudis accountable. But again, I don't think he wants to put too much pressure on the Saudi leadership. He's uh, more focused on other issues concerning American-Saudi relations, such as arms sales and strategies for pushing back against Iran's influence in the Middle East. Now, Pompeo described the U.S. as a force for good during his speech in Cairo. How does that rhetoric match up with the relationship he has with MBS and the relative silence on issues such as Khashoggi's murder and the Yemen war, for example? Well, certainly there are many moving parts here. I think a lot of the rhetoric about America being a good force in the Middle East is aimed in large part for a domestic audience here in the United States. Trump and those in his administration are always keen to distinguish this administration from that which was led by Barack Obama. The narrative from Trump and many of his supporters was that 10 years ago, back in 2009, Barack Obama was excessively apologizing on behalf of the United States. And I think Pompeo is trying to send a very different message with a different tone um, about where the U.S. stands on many issues in the region. Um, I think this is just, of course, natural, though. We saw this, you know, with the Iranian nuclear accord and so many other areas of foreign policy that go even way beyond the Middle East. So nothing too new right here.